I'm pretty sure the sign says do not enter. Are we going in there? We are going in. We're going in. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer DiDomenico. I'm the entertainment editor for the Osceola News Gazette. And right now, we are out at Gatorland. As you can see, the gators are right behind me. I'm here with Brandon. Hey everybody, yes! And can you tell us a little bit about what we're gonna do today? Oh, we're gonna have a lot of fun here at Gatorland. We're at the alligator capital of the world here, right here in Orlando, Florida, okay guys? so. We're gonna see gators, we're gonna see crocodiles, we're gonna see snakes, we're gonna see some lizards, some tarantulas. We're gonna hold all those we snakes, are. <laughs> lizards, tarantulas. What did Definitely. I sign up for? <laughs> I mean, you're here at Gator Lane, you gotta do it, okay? For sure. And then on top of that, we're gonna ride the swamp buggy. All right, this is our newest attraction here at Gator Lane. Big old swamp buggy monster truck thing. Goes mud, goes over bumps. Oh, Speed, <laughs> it's fast. You go through a pit full of alligators at the end. And then on top of that, to finish things up today, we're gonna feed these alligators right over here. No way. And actually, you know what? Not to finish it up, we're gonna start that off right oh now, God. okay? No right way. here, feeding these big alligators right here behind us. We're in our adventure hour feeding area. Guests can pay $10 to come in and feed and get behind the fence. You so guys are behind can the do fence. This too? Yeah, we're behind the fence right now. That's awesome. Right? You know? So we're close to them. You get literally feet away from these giant alligators right here. We have 300 of them out here. And you're gonna toss them some food. Check those guys out. Look at them. Some of my favorite guy oh, alligators I'm are sitting so right excited. down there. All right? <laughs> so you ready? I'm ready. Let's, let's do, it. do it. Let's have some fun. All right, let's go. Gators! Let's go! Let's go! It's pretty chilly out today, so I feel like most of the gators don't want to come out of the water. Gators! <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Go ahead and grab a piece of meat, okay? Watch it hanging over your shoes. Alright? Oh, you know, come on down here. This is the do, do not pass, pass go. Do not collect $200. Do not cross line right here. Right, right there, okay? And you can toss either out in the water or Side. So you're aiming for the side of the face. So you can toss this little guy or toss down the water wherever you want. And we'll go for it. Now we cut up in bite-sized pieces. Casual. Yeah. <laughs> it's casual Monday. Casual Monday. Casual Monday at Gatorland. The way gators eat is they can swing their heads side to side. They've got all these sensory organs on the side of their face to help them search for stuff. Ready, here we go. One, two, three. So Brandon is in the shed right now, in the reptile shed, and he's coming out with some little critters. <laughs> Tell us about this little guy. So this is Alduin, and Alduin here is a bearded dragon. Australian bearded dragon, one of the most popular pet lizards in the pet industry. So this guy was, do she was donated to us. She was somebody's pet they didn't want to take care of anymore. Aww. And now we use her for our shows and we take her out to schools all the time and, and visit kids and such. And she's actually getting ready to shed her skin. That's why she's this kind of like weird color right here on the back. So normally they're like this yellowish kind of color right here, but she's getting kind of dull because that's going to start shedding off. So this is a Chilean rose hair tarantula. Again, one of the most popular pet tr uh, tarantulas in the pet trade here. Um, they'll get about the size of my hand here, but of course, being arachnid, it's got the eight legs. Does have venom, they got fangs, but being bit by these guys is like being stung by a bee or a wasp. We use these guys in our up close show uh, here in the park as well as take them out to schools and stuff. We have these guys as well as ones called Arizona Blonde Tarantulas. And they're about the same temperament and stuff. Um, this gal lives in, in our, our reptile room and is used for our night shines or our trainer for the day programs that we have here at Gatorland. This Who are is, you? This is Tilly. Hi Tilly. And she's a blue tongue skink. <laughs> and the reason, why, the reason why it's bright blue you know, what, what, what do bright colors, if you know anything about nature, what do bright colors mean? What would you think bright colors would mean? Poisonous. Poisonous. Yeah, like dangerous. <laughs> yeah. You know, leave me alone, I'm, I'm deadly. Yeah. Well, she's neither. So this is a decoy. So that bright blue tongue mm -hmm. is the, the decoy. This is one of our Colombian red-tailed boas that we have here at Gatorland. 
again with these guys we take them out to school sometimes use them in the show here uh the up close show um, but we like to use the big burmese pythons for the up close show here at gatorland they have a whole bunch of teeth in the mouth and you see him sticking out that tongue right I there know, i think he's, he's like sensing me for prey right <laughs> now they might be no i'm joking <laughs> he's sensing that area he's smelling around there but really really cool and they blend in very well these guys are tree dwellers they like to be up in trees hanging out and then you know if something crawls down especially on low paths and stuff like that strike out most of the time they're eating rodents they're eating some uh, waterfowl um, you know if they get big enough which I mean these guys can get up to about to, uh, about 11 12 feet long all right so we have made our way over to the white gator swamp because yes there are white alligators which is kind of a crazy thing and they do have them here at Gatorland and I think we might actually get inside of one of the tanks too we're here near the enclosure Brandon is unlocking the gate and we're gonna get to go in and see this little guy found 87 in the wild so they've never been bred in captivity so they're really rare the leucistics are much rarer than albinos like i said they were found as they were hatching out so of the original there was 20 one was a female and she died before getting breeding age so these guys can live just as long as an old alligator the reason why they're in in, in enclosures like this they can't have direct sunlight for long periods of time because they'll get summer they don't produce enough vitamin d in their skin being albino leucistic so they can have a little bit but these lights give them special, you know, UV stuff that they get from the sun and all that. All right, you guys, so we are over by Chester now. We're actually behind the glass, um, but we are going to go inside of his tank with him, so stay tuned. Um, but I just wanted to give you some background info on Chester first. He was actually rescued um, from Tampa because he was eating dogs in the neighborhood and some trappers came and saw him and they wanted to take him and make a suitcase out of him. And then Gatorland rescued him. So he lives here at Gatorland now. Um, he's kind of aggressive, obviously. He was going around the neighborhood eating dogs. So he is a bit of an aggressive gator. Um, the largest dog he's eaten is a German Shepherd. Up. All right, so now we're gonna go see Chester. Right up over here. Chester is the biggest alligator oh, in the park. 13 feet, 7 inches, and about 1,000 uh, pounds. Wow. <laughs> 13 feet, 7 inches, and 1,000 pounds. That's crazy. So obviously there are thousands of alligators and crocodiles here at Gatorland, but there are also a lot of beautiful birds and Gatorland now has a special opportunity where you can come into the park a little bit early, um, really before sunrise, before the park opens, and you can photograph some of the birds at different times of day. Um, they have that in the morning and then they have it in the evening as well. background the gator jumperoo show is going on right now we're actually gonna pass on the show for the time being which I've seen the show before it's really fun um, but we're gonna head over to the swamp buggy and go for a little ride so it's gonna be really exciting and um, this ride goes through a little swamp area of the gators where you actually end up in a gator pond at the end and so it'll be a lot of fun it's gonna be a bumpy ride so buckle up everyone <laughs> Welcome to Gator Garden. If y'all want to steal this buggy, have a rough ride off road adventure, give me a yee haw. Yee haw. All right, here we go. Hang on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my. All you don't see is Connor stole the buggy. That's all right, man. It's not like you're getting in trouble. They don't have no security cameras in the middle of nowhere. I mean, where would they plug them? Hey, man, Connor, just wait. Randy, you safe to go back to jail. You might as well go big. Smile and you don't get much bigger than a swamp buggy. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, I don't think there's anything in the world that can stop this big old horrible redneck engineering now. I mean, what can stop us? Look at that, folks. That's some fancy stuff right there. Oh, man. Look at that, folks. We have made it to Swampy South Gator Pond. That is a Swampy South always said the best attraction of Florida is Florida itself. Now, these gators truly prove that point. Put on my seatbelt. Hold on. I got to put on my seatbelt. Hey, I got to put on my seatbelt. Y'all know we couldn't do that. We'd be GED dead. Take a right. We got to turn the corner in security. To the right. Oh, 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 oh,
Alright you guys, that just about wraps up our day here at Gatorland. Thank you so much to Gatorland for having us out and big thanks to Brandon for all of the behind the scenes activities that we got to do today. If you want to read more about Gatorland, you can visit our website aroundosceola.com and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Osceola News Gazette. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh.